What's going on, everybody? It is Rouch, coach of the Huntsville Heatran, bringing you my week two match of the Pokemon Speedruns Draft League. As you can see, here are the standings after week one. Um, we took a commanding 6 0 victory over Etiquette in the Pacific Log Waylords. Um, as you can see, a lot of matches ended in 2 0s this week, something that I'm very impressed about um, because how close everybody seems to be so far. And then there's me and I'm kind of embarrassed about that too um, anyways uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about schedule so this week I am going to face off against baffling amoeba otherwise known as amoeba and the Wolverhampton wobble hoof the Wolverhampton waddlers and um, it will we'll see why here in just a second so let's go ahead and take a look at baffling amoeba's team right now so uh if you take a look it's it's a bug squad it's a stupid bug squad um i've faced um amoeba in the first season of the psr draft league and uh took a commanding victory in part because of my rock coverage this time around, my team is a little bit weaker against Mono Bug, so I'm going to go ahead and point out some of the big threats. Obviously, Volcarona is always going to be a problem uh, if he's got the right coverage. This week, I expect him to bring Bug, Ground, and Grass coverage, and that is to ensure that... Um, Sorry, no, fire. Sorry, fire ground and grass coverage. And that's to be able to take care of the likes of Swampert, the likes of Florgus and Fortress, and uh, the ground coverage is for Raikou, so that uh, he could better take on Raikou. Buzzwool is a huge threat to my team, especially if it is Scarfed, um, because I don't have a lot of good answers for it. Uh, my Fortress and Florgus can tank a hit, um, and Florgus can one-hit KO in return, but if it's Scarfed, um, I do have a, another member on my team that uh, normally I would use as a revenge killer, but if it's Scarfed, I don't have that option available to me. Uh, Galvantula could be a problem, bring Sticky Webs. Venomoth could be an issue with... Um, with its uh, Sleep Powder into Quiver Dance combo, because Volcarona and Venomoth are Miba's uh, Z Crystal holders. Uh, Araquanid is a problem because I do have a lot of fire coverage this week, uh, just because it's so good versus the entire rest of his team, especially when it comes down to Scizor. Um, and Araquanid and Scizor are going to be huge problems, but Araquanid uh, can live. Uh, a hit or two because it is so bulky it's actually it's really good in a in a bug type matchup Volbeat can be an issue because of its prankster thunder waves but I do have ways around it mega pincer is always going to be a problem because it is such a tremendous wall breaker that base 155 attack with the stab aerialate flying type quick attacks um, it just hits like a truck but I do have ways around that uh, Scullopede has been an issue in the past for me. Um, uh, fortunately, there is no speed passing, so it can't speed pass, but um, it can rip holes in my team if given the opportunity. So, that out of the way, what the hell did I bring to face this team? Let's jump in and see, shall we? Alright. So the first mod this week that I brought is Toby the Arcanine. You're assault vested this week with the Intimidate ability, with uh, that HP investment and that attack investment. So this attack investment is specifically to one hit KO Galvantula after Stealth Rocks with a Flame Charge. So Flame Charge, Flare Blitz, Wild Charge, and Extreme Speed, and uh, the speed is to. Outspeed max speed Venomoth because Venomoth has base 90. So if, um, well, I don't want to get into that issue, but just note that it outspeeds max speed Venomoth 
without a flame charge up. And it one hit KOs almost the entire team with with flare blitz. The only two pokes that can live are a bulky um, Buzzwool and the Araquanid, of which I do have the Wild Charge, and the Wild Charge does a, I want to say it was 60% to um to a quote unquote standard 96 220 um impish natured um uh, araquanid which is the lead trapper set so uh that's gonna be arcanine for this week flare blitz flame charge deal damage to the entire team wild charge for araquanid and extreme speed just in case i want some last second damage next pokemon that i brought is gonna be ein so this outspeeds and does 50% to Volcarona after a single Quiver Dance with the Hidden Power Rock. Extreme Speed does 23% to a Volcarona, just in case it gets to to that uh, to that part uh, to that point. So this Raikou is designed to, uh, if you can't tell, 50% is beyond Stealth Rocks. So this is supposed to outspeed and KO Volcarona after Stealth Rocks. Thunderbolt one hit KO is Mega Pinsir. Quick Attack at Neutral does 21%. At plus 2, it does um, like 43, I want to say. And that's max. So that's with max max attack adamant. So Raikou is going to be my revenge killer for both of those mons in particular. Um, Thunderbolt, I don't believe one hit KOs Araquanid. Um, but it does, I want to say, a max... No, I want to say it was a minimum of 96, so it's like a damage roll. I'll, I'll double check the calc if we if we get to that point, obviously. Uh, so that's Raikou for this week. Uh, extreme speed, once again, just like Arcanine. Last second damage if need be. Volt Switch, Thunderbolt. Um, Volt Switch is going to be spammable move of choice because Miba does not have any electric immunities. And then Hidden Power Rock for obvious coverage. Next Pokemon that we brought this week is Spike, the Golden Fortress, with the Iraqi Helmet, Stealth Rock, Volt Switch, Rapid Spin, and Rock Slide. Stealth Rocks are going to be incredibly important, and keeping hazards off the field are going to be incredibly important for my team. Um, Rock Slide is there to deal damage to the likes of Scullipede. Um, if I predict the Volcarona to start setting up in my face, I just want it a way to deal with um, with those by dealing damage with Fortress because this is my best answer for Scalopede. This is my best answer for Buzzwool, except I will Volt Switch out once I figure out what kind of Buzzwool set it is. So that's Fortress this week. Has to be max defense because those two are such huge threats. And then of course Volt Switch is so that once I finish scouting, I can go into the appropriate check. This is slower than Everything on Meepa's team, bar speed investment on Ariado, or bar negative speed on Ariados. So, Spike is almost guaranteed to get the Volt Switch off last, which is really useful for my next Pokemon, which is this week going to be Ray J. So, this is Swellow finally bringing it week two. Uh, not your standard choice specs user. Um, just Heatwave Air Slash because that coverage rocks Miva's entire team for super effective damage. One hit KOs every member of his team after Stealth Rocks does damage. So Spike is incredibly important in this matchup because Swellow is my end goal ticket. Um, because I have this defense investment, um, I can tank a Choice Bandit Scissor Bullet Punch, not a plus two. So that does 95% a technician boosted uh, bullet punch. And then Mega Pinsir Jolly does 53% with quick attack. And then uh, Defog, just in case there's last second clearing, like um, Sticky Webs, obviously, I want off the field for Ayn and uh, for the other members of my team, too, to be honest. Excuse me. And you turn there. For a quick momentum, like maybe back into Spike if I want to uh, get some Rocky Helmet Chip. Or into my other wall this week, which probably guess because it pairs well with Fortress. That is the Pretty Powder Flyer Shop. That is Florgus, Moonblast, Hidden Power, Rock, Wish, and Protect. This investment allows me to outspeed a 4 IV or a 4 effort value speed Buzzwool. 
So I want to make sure that uh, the Florgus wasn't speed, cre uh, speed crept by it because this is my Revenger for it. Uh, let's see. Hidden Power Rock does 78% to Pinsir after it's make it. Does 59% to a neutral Volcarona. Um, and Volcarona can only do up to 42% with Fire Blast, I want to say is what it was. Moon Blast does 60% to Galvantula. And then a Life Orb Thunder only does about 44% in return. Wish Protect for Leftovers and Recover Synergy. And also to help heal Spike if need be. B. Um, Moonblast also one hit KOs offensive variations of Buzzwell. It does 106% minimum, I want to say. I think it's what it was. But it was north of 100%, so it guaranteed one hit KOs, no defense, or no spadef HP invested Buzzwell. So that's something to note. Uh, again, like I said, Choice Scarf Buzzwell is a huge issue, and Florgus is probably my best way around it. Combination of Florgus and Spike. In fact, I think Ayn only does 60% to Choice Scarf Buzzwell. Last member of my team this week, the most heat set I can bring. Up until this point, everybody's kind of been, like, normal-ish, but I really want this mon to get a kill or two and that is you the swamper so you is packing the choice scarf this week hidden power fire rock slide endeavor and stone edge so <clears throat> the hidden power fire does 65 percent to an offensive scissor 53 percent to a max hp scissor so it a two hit ko's Max HP Scizor, and it does uh, about 40% to a specially defensive Scizor. So Swamper is going to be m uh, another check to it. So just in case Toby starts getting too much damage racked up, uh, Swamper can um, nail Scizor also if I predict a switch. HP Fire exists there. So Rock Slide versus Stone Edge. Rock Slide one hit KOs Volcarona. And I outspeed Volcarona. This speed allows me to outspeed Neutral Scallopede. Um, it does 91% to Scizor with Rock Slide. So these are one hit KOs in, uh, well, after Stealth Rocks. Stone Edge two hit KOs, max defense Volbeat before, or like if there aren't Stealth Rocks on the field, it does uh, 54%, 56, something like that, mid 50s. One hit KOs uh, most of the team outside of Scizor and Buzzwool. And Buzzwool, if it's an offensive variant, I believe took 35%. I didn't write that one down, but it's it's an okay, it's an okay thing, and I can use Swampert to help gauge Buzzwool's um, spread as well. I am uh, naive uh, on the Swampert just because I want to be taking more physical hits. Like uh, this thing is designed to take on. The likes of Pinsir and Scizor and outspeed Volcarona. I am not, um, well, you is designed so that if uh, Volcarona is standing right in front of it, Volcarona is intimidated into going for grass coverage as opposed to setting up and then netting a surprise KO either on it or Mega Pinsir. And Swampert can also switch in on Volbeat because the only thing that Volbeat can do to me is baton pass out so that's uh swamper this week this is gonna be my team gonna have a lot of fun i hope and hopefully that choice card swamper does something that's all it's here for is the surprise factor amoeba is a very smart battler and i just wanted to throw him a curveball and see if um see if it can throw him off balance um again i got a solid team versus him but he's a smart enough battler that I am scared the living daylights out of. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Battle's going up tomorrow. And I will see you all then. Roush is out.